All right, so here he is, one of a handful of two-division champions in UFC history, my broadcast partner and one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, UFC Hall of Famer Daniel Cormier back on the Proven Ground tonight. As DC makes the walk to the octagon, you know he's as fashionable as they get. But ultimately, when this man steps into the octagon, he goes out there, fights with a high pace, a lot of pressure, and really tries to overwhelm his opponents. His in-your-face style is constant, it's overwhelming. He has all the skills that have made him and allowed him to become a UFC double champion and a UFC Hall of Famer. And as you can see, he's got the haircut on point. The fight week beard has given way to the goatee. And Cormier's still motivated at this stage of his career. So we'll see what he has for this particular opposition tonight. But more often than not, people know what DC brings to the table and they have been unable to stop. Silva is set to make the walk here tonight. This is a man still getting it done in his mid-40s, DC. Proved in the Israel Adesanya fight that he could still hang in there over a hard 15 minutes with the best guys in the Anderson game. Silva is still able to compete even though he's up there in age a little bit. And that's because of his commitment to the sport of mixed martial arts. He loves competing. He loves the spotlight. Everything that you need to drive you to be able to stay active and stay relevant in this sport Anderson Silva possesses. Every time he steps foot in the octagon, we get a chance to witness one of the greatest fighters of all time. And when DC needed an opponent for UFC 200 on about 24 hours notice, the greatest of all time was your Huckleberry. Not too bad. Anderson, the Spider Silva, set to fight DC, Daniel Cormier. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Daniel D.C. Cormier. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC middleweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Anderson the Spider Silva! Referee Herb Dean will handle the action in the octagon. So here he is, the Muay Thai stylist, ex-gym product, Anderson Silva. We'll see how he approaches the early going here tonight. He has been a fast starter. Most of his UFC appearances have ended in round one or round two. We'll see how Silva approaches this challenge here. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by DC. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Now he's going full mount. He's doing a really good job of putting himself in position. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. So pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John. There's nothing to worry about now 
but he's got to start to protect it. And he's back up. Great job moving it to his opponent and get it to that super cup. And so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stricken four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Hook in the clinch there by Silva. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the pitch. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Well, how about Daniel Cormier here tonight? What else can you say about the UFC Hall of Famer, the wrestling chop? Well, Silva's got his hand looking for a guillotine chip. That guillotine is tight. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Big knee land right through the ball of the midsection. Stop. Round two straight ahead. All right, sit tight. Respira, relaxa. Look, I think we lost this round, but that's because he's out striking you, okay? So I need you to get in there. I need you to... Oh, we'll see how it goes here in round two. Ready, Anderson Silva Ready. versus Daniel Cormier. Ready. Cormier gets hit with that stiff jab there. And working that jab again. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Great timing on that double leg. Starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his takedown. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Cormier going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Oh, man, this guy's got elbows for days, huh? He throws them up and throws them across the body. He just has a variety of elbow attacks. Elbows from the bottom now, okay. Making all these shots count. Oh, nice elbow. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is held on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, he's out. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Great punch landed with so much power.
20 seconds now to go. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Cormier swelling. Oh, so bad, he's gotta find safety. Find a way to cover. Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is though, what type of condition? All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still Some swelling now started to appear. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh. He's got him here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Strike right to the midsection. Back to his feet. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. All right, watch out for the setup. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Oh, and reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Silva. And he is back up to his feet. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Cormier goes in for the takedown now, and he gets it. Nice fight IQ there after he had gotten stunned on the feet. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Cormier's in half guard. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the horn for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Oh, great ground strike there. And now, blood is a factor. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Whiffs on the right hand. effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, the official decision is in. Hear once more the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of round number three. To play the winner by TKO Anderson, the Spider Silva! So another win tacked on to the total of one of the most decorated champions in UFC history. Anderson Silva does it again and really thought he looked sharp tonight. You could tell early on in the fight, the future Hall of Famer, Anderson Silva, getting it done in a big way here tonight.